chicos let us start with the new topic of anatomy of breast so in anatomy of breast part 1 i will be covering the introduction to the topic situation and extent of the breast and its deeper structure i am saying sorry beforehand for the noise of the traffic today is really busy day and it's a holiday so i'm really sorry please will manage with that noise and study okay so introduction to the breast breast is an important structure present in the pectoral or chest region it is an important structure in pectoral region okay breast helps helps its important okay so why are we learning about the anatomy of breast because it has its clinical importance ca breast has high number of prevalence in female carcinoma of breast is more commonly seen or it's a prevalent cancer in female so we need to know the anatomy of breast so it helps in clinical importance also breast is present in both males and females it is present in both male female and male but in case of male the breast is rudimentary so it is rudimentary and in female the breast is well developed after she hits the puberty so it is well developed after puberty okay now the breast is a modified sweat gland so it is modified sweat glands right and breast forms an important accessory organ in female reproductive system so it forms an important accessory organ in female reproductive system right and what does breast function at breast produce milk which helps in nutrition of newborn so it produces milk or it secretes milk and it helps in the nutrition of the newborn so here we are done with all the introduction i possible about the breast now let us start let us see the situation and extent of the breast so breast is situated in the pectoral region and it lies in the superficial fascia of pectoral region so it lies in sup superficial fascia of pectoral region okay fascia fascia of pectoral region the breast is divided into four quadrants so it is divided into four quadrants and what are those quadrants we are going to see in this image okay i will magnify it little bit right now let us see it okay so here we have medial part and here we have the lateral okay also we have here upper and lower so what are the four quadrants we have here upper medial quadrant or medial upper quadrant i will write it as a medial upper quadrant so we have here medial upper quadrant and we are here we have medial lower quadrant okay so this is medial upper and this is medial lower quadrant then we have here the lateral upper quadrant and here as lateral lower quadrant you can also make it as inner and outer so here we get these are the inner quadrants so these are the inner quadrants and these are the 
outer ones okay so you can also name it as um, can uh, divide it on the basis of inner and outer quadrants so here we have the outer quadrants right also we have a tail of breast tissue and we call this as tail of sphinxes see here it is written it is a tail of tail of sphinxes this tail of sphinxes passes through the foramen in the fascia so if this is a foramen the tail is like this and this foramen is called as foramen langer so considering this as a foramen of the fascia it is foramen of langer right so this is the situation and the quadrants of breast now let us move towards the extent of breast okay so the breast horizontally is extended from the lateral border of sternum till the mid till the mid axillary line okay so taking this as an mid axillary line so what we have we have the lateral border of sternum and here we have the mid axillary line right now what is the what is the vertical extent of breast so breast is vertically extended till the second intercostal space on upper part and in lower it is on the border of sixth rib so we have here second intercostal space and here as we have here sixth rib okay so this is the extent of breast or mammary gland okay now let us move towards the deeper structure so for deeper structure i will be going to draw one diagram which will clear out the enumerate uh, it will clear out the idea so that we can enumerate the deeper relationship so taking this as in clavicle okay this is a clavicle below the clavicle we have a small muscle that is subclavius muscle and below that we have again a small muscle as pectoralis minor muscle this muscle these two muscles are covered by a fascia okay so this fascia and it is clavi pectoral fascia what is that fascia it is clavi pectoral fascia now there is a big muscle covering this pectoralis minor and it is the big brother of that muscle pectoralis major muscle so what here i will write the major here i will write the major okay this major muscle is covered by the deep fascia of pectoralis muscle i will write it as deep fascia in front of this deep fascia we have our hemispherical breast so we have here the hemispherical breast okay and between this deep fascia and hemispherical breast we have a space and this is the this is the retro mammary space okay this retro mammary space has its clinical significance because in case of malignant breast cancer this is obliterated this retro because of this retro mammary space the breast is mobile you can move the breast in all the direction but when this retro mammary space get obliterated obliterated in mal malignant breast cancer you can't move the breast there is a fixity of breast tissue so it help helps its clinical importance also when you take the 
chest x-ray or um, in mammography sorry in mammography you can appreciate that retromammary space and you can also appreciate the obliteration of retromammary space in case of malignant breast cancer okay so we are going to see that thing in surgical surgery surgery of means surgical branch part of the breast this is just an anatomy for but for the extra points i am telling you this things okay and in front of this breast we have i will take it in red we have skin here the conical nipple and the areolar tissue okay so from this structure you can appreciate that you get three points in deep relation of breast first we have the first we have our retromammary space which makes the breast mobile then we have our second point as deep fascia with pectoralis major muscle okay and what is the third point the third point we get pectoralis minor with other two muscles so what are those muscles so the first let us make we have deeper three muscles and i have a mnemonic for that muscle you can learn it as pm says x out pm says x should be out so for pm we have pectoralis minor muscle okay for sir s a for serratus anterior muscle okay oh, wait a minute i will make it like this so that you can be able to see we have pectoralis minor muscle for say we have serratus anterior and for x out we have external oblique muscle of abdomen okay so these are the three muscles present deeper to the pectoralis major and its fascia then what are we will just write those two remaining two points second is we have deep fascia plus pectoralis major and the third point as the third point as retro memory space okay so here we have done with the deeper structure present to the breast so we are done here with the part 1 of this video for part 2 i will be covering the uh, structure of breast and the blood supply with its nerve supply so stay tuned to my channel and if you are still not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if you like the video you can also leave comment in the comment section below whether you like my video what you liked about my video and if there is any improvement thank you and have a good day